Hi, my name is Charles. I was the lead designer for the Trustan, the RC Benchmark Series 1580. Today I'm going to be talking about some design decisions that have to be made when designing a propulsion measurement system. When designing a stand, one of the most obvious ways of measuring both torque and thrust is to use a combination of bearings or pivots to separate both forces and obtain a measurement. This is the idea we had when we originally designed the Series 1580. For example, here you can see that you have the motor mount, and the motor mount is applying forces on two separate load cells. This is then used to measure the torque. However, we realized that um, for this system to work, you do need to have a pivot system. Originally, we were using hinges like this one. However, even though the hinge looks very loose, it still has friction in it, and this friction is very difficult to control. There can be things like dust, dirt, impact or various misalignment that will cause a varying friction and this friction is inherently random. The result is that the torque measurement has a measurement error that we call hysteresis. What it means in practice is that when you apply a force and you release that force, you don't come back to zero. In some cases that can be a low error, somewhere between 1 and 2 percent, but in other worst case you can have up to 20 percent error in, in some bad conditions. And again, this is something very difficult to uh, control. Because many of our customers are using the data in production, and they often do hundreds of tests at a time, it's not acceptable to have this kind of random error happen. That's why we spend a lot of time and effort to find a solution. And what we found works best, but is more effort, is to use a solid state design. For example, this is the new design that replaced the hinge, and you can see that it acts as a virtual pivot. It has some rigidity, but that rigidity is controlled in the various axes, and the result is that you have a very low hysteresis measurement. Since then, since we've redesigned this part, all of our new products, including the Series 1780 and the upcoming flight stands, are using solid-state design. If you're thinking about doing propulsion testing, we'd love to talk to you. Don't hesitate to leave a comment below or contact us on our website. Thanks for watching.